by keeping bad guys in jail. Gunfire in southwest Atlanta leaves one dead and another injured. This morning, we're speaking with homicide detectives as we work to learn more about what led up to a deadly shooting. Communities are still underwater in Florida after Hurricane Ian left behind a path of destruction. The number of lives lost continues to rise. And sunny skies in a perfect condition to start our Sunday morning. I've got your forecast coming right up. Atlanta News First starts now. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us for Atlanta News First at 8 a.m. This is a live look at the sun shining over Midtown Atlanta, shaping up to be a beautiful day. It is Sunday morning, October 2nd. I'm Megan Packer. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. First alert, meteorologist Alexander Steele is here. We'll talk about this nice forecast in just a moment. Good morning to you and good morning to everybody at home. Thank you for joining us. We have so many exciting things happening, don't we? We do. We've got a new name. Atlanta News First. <laughs> so excited to tell you more about that. We've got this new gorgeous studio. So we want to show you where we will be bringing you the news from for uh, the foreseeable, foreseeable future. future forever. We are so excited. Gorgeous new set. You and the weather team have new tools, yep. you know, already doing a great job, but just, you know, increasing the accuracy and, you know, just more more tools for everybody to tell you what's happening around Metro Atlanta. It's a new month. So we've got the new name, the new <laughs> studio. It's great to be back with you <laughs> after maternity leave. I know. Welcome back, Megan Thank Packer. You. We missed our Thank sweet you space. so much. I've been enjoying some time at home with baby Nora. My husband and I welcomed a daughter in July. She's oh. doing great. Unbelievable how quickly the time goes. Oh, Megan, she is just so cute. And that was the picture Megan took before her first day of work back yesterday. Came back on Friday, and uh, yet yeah, there were some tears right after that, and not from the baby. <laughs> you know how hard it is to walk away. Oh, well, but I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. It's been wonderful at home, but great to be back during such an exciting time here at yeah, the station. Absolutely. An incredible new weather studio, too. Certainly all our computers are here, updated information. So let's get to it. Let me show you how it is and where we are. 55 degrees right now. A beautiful start on this Sunday morning, October 2nd, and my daughter's birthday. Happy birthday to you, sweet Jagger. 55 currently. The dew points in the 40s. Really dry air. Humidity at 82%, so the air is dry, the skies are clear. The only little caveat with the forecast today, not as windy as yesterday, but with departing in what was Hurricane Ian, what we still have is a pressure gradient. That's a departing low pressure system with our high pressure system, so still a bit of a breeze today, not nearly as strong as yesterday. Yesterday we had wind gusts to 36 miles per hour in Atlanta, sustained winds in the 20s. Today not quite that, but still you'll notice a bit of a breeze. 48 right now with clear skies in Blairsville. It is 53 in Dalton, 52 in Carrollton, 52 in Athens as well. As we head through the afternoon, mostly sunny skies, just a few fair weather clouds. We'll get to about 70 degrees as we head toward the early afternoon about lunchtime and then mid and upper 70s. The average high this time of year is between about 79 and 80 and we'll stay just south of that. 77 today in Atlanta, 77 in Athens, only 71 in Elegy. So pretty cool conditions there. As we head toward tonight, we drop down into the 40s in the North Georgia mountains, so cooler than average to start tomorrow morning. We'll talk about the extended forecast to tell you how long this dry, beautiful October weather will last. Megan. All right, Alexander, thank you. We do have to talk about what is left of Ian this morning. Take a look as it moves its way out. It's hard to believe just days.